Alright, so Na-discuss na natin yung Ideal gases Pero before moving forward I think may idadagdag ako Na topic Kinetic Theory Of Gases um, Mas maganda na sa chemistry pa lang Ma-discuss ko na to sa inyo Kasi usually sa thermo to no? Pero maganda na ngayon pa lang Okay? So, wait lang. Okay. So, kinetic theory of gases. Okay, before moving forward, meron tayong dalawang uri ng gas. Major. No? Monoatomic tsaka diatomic. Meron din triatomic, meron din compound, pero focus tayo sa monoatomic tsaka diatomic. So, pag una, pag sinabi nating diatomic, yun yung pag sinabing gas. No? Two atoms yung kinakailangan niya. For example, is hydrogen H. So, ito, gagawa tayo ng mnemonics dito, no? Para matandaan ninyo yung mga diatomic gas. So, meron tayong H, no? Have no fear of ice cold beer. Ang tamang-tama. Have, again, ha, have no fear of ice cold beer. So, pag nakarinig kayo ng hydrogen gas, nitrogen gas, fluorine gas, oxygen gas, iodine gas, chlorine gas, bromine gas, mga diatomic yung mga yun. Actually, dapat nga, si air, kinoconsider din natin as diatomic. So, air, have no fear of ice cold beer. So, the rest, monoatomic na. So, kunyari, pag sinabi sa inyo yung... Uh, Helium. Oh, wala dyan yung helium. Monoatomic nyo na yan. Actually, yung mga noble gases. Di ba? Kasi nga, yung mga noble gases, puno na yung valence electrons nila. Hindi na sila naipag-react kahit karino pa. Okay. So, ang sinasabi ng kinetic theory of gas, yung mga gas may certain kinetic energy yan na dependent lang sa temperature. Proportional sa temperature nila. So, una, Since nauna na yung diatomic, naunahin ko yung diatomic. Diatomic. Ke is equal to 5 over 2 kT. Kinetic energy. And pag monoatomic, Ke is equal to 3 over 2 kT. Na yung K is a constant called the Boltzmann constant. Volts man constant So sa calculator ninyo pindutin niyo lang yung constant 25 Okay so shift constant 25 Yeah yan siya Okay so hindi niyo kailangan kabisaduhin yan kasi nasa calculator naman Alright so my point is ang kinetic energy tanda niyo one molecule lang to ah Kinetic energy ng one molecule or one atom of gas is some constant times another constant times temperature. Ibig sabihin, yung Ke at yung temperature, proportional sila. So, kunwari, sinabi natin 20 degrees Celsius. Mas kinaano yung gas mo, basta 20 degrees Celsius ka, pare-pareho lang yung kinetic energy mo. Masosolve mo yun agad. Except kung monoatomic ka, iba yung ita times mo. Okay? So, it, pag... May certain temperature ka. May certain kinetic energy ka rin ng kahit anong gas. Kinetic energy, kinetic theory of gases. Okay? So, yun nga, no? Ibig sabihin, kahit na meron kang gas A tsaka gas B. K-E-A tsaka K-E-B. Pag same yung temperature at same temperature, ibig sabihin equal lang yung value nila. ba diba nga? So, yung kinetic energy, well, moving forward, makikita nyo yung formula nito sa physics pero kinetic energy is 1 half m v squared. 1 half m v squared. Okay? So, pwede natin tong i-cancel. Cancel. Tapos, pwede natin ilipat lahat ng mga V sa kaliwa. 
So, may VA squared over VB squared is equal to MB over MA. Okay, tapos di ba nga previously may formula tayo about sa molar mass. Ano nga yun? Moles is equal to mass over molar mass. So, ibig sabihin pala, itong mass na to, pag nilipat natin to, ha, mass over M over N. Okay. So, kung kunwari nga, tig isang, tig isang molecule lang, no? tig isa lang, e di yung N nila, same lang din. So, pag divide natin sila by the same N, e di maging molar mass, MM. So, MMB over MMA. Okay? Take the square root VA over VB is equal to square root of MMB over MMA. And this is what we call Graham's Law. Okay? Ano yung ini-imply ng Graham's Law? imply ng Graham's Law. No. Okay. Let's say, si VA, uh, alam na natin yung karakteristik ng gas A. May certain velocity. V is velocity. May certain molar mass si A. O, kunwari, uh, nitrogen, tsaka oxygen. So, naalala nyo yung ano, molar mass nila? Okay. Oh. So, yung nitrogen, 14. Yung oxygen, 16. 14. 16. Okay. Ingay. Sabihin natin si nitrogen, 14. Yung A. So, si B, mas mabigat. So, mas mataas yung molar mass niya. Ibig sabihin, kung mas mataas to, edi yung quotient niyan is a higher number, greater than 1. So, kung greater than 1 yan, ano dapat yung VB? Dapat mas maliit to. Which is true. No? So, ang sinasabi, ang ini-imply ng Graham's Law, kapag meron ang mas mabigat na gas, ibig sabihin, mas mabagal siya. That makes sense? Alright. So, ito yung mga kailangan nyo. Ito yung kinetic theory of gas. So, ito naman, dagdag natin yung Graham's Law.